What's up, everybody? Welcome back to AI on Crypto. I am a cryptocurrency and NFT enthusiast making daily content on this channel to help you along your cryptocurrency journey. And today we're going to be talking about a lot of people's favorite coin, a lot of people's least favorite coin, XRP. When it comes to XRP, all I can say is that I am a fan and I've been a fan since about 2018 when I first started getting into cryptocurrency. XRP has everything I look for in a cryptocurrency. It has an incredible, if not the most professional and highest quality team in the entire cryptocurrency space at Ripple Labs. It has a large and very enthusiastic community and the technology behind the XRP token uh, is incredible. They're also building an ecosystem around it through the Flare network that's going to give smart contract uh, protocols to the XRP ecosystem, allowing for dApps, DeFi, NFTs, and all the stuff we've come to enjoy on chains like Ethereum. But it has a big albatross, the SEC, which during last bull run, the most recent bull run, right in the middle of it, the SEC dropped the hammer right on the head of the XRP community with what many believe to be a ridiculous case. But the case between the SEC and Ripple appears to be coming to a close. And don't kid yourself, whether you're an XRP fan or you don't like XRP, it is good for the entire space for it to be a favorable outcome for XRP because if it's a non-favorable outcome, that will only encourage the SEC to go after more and more cryptocurrency companies. The next company they might be suing might be the one you like the most. All right, guys, so we're going to look at this case as it comes winding to an end. We're also going to look at that crazy and famous prediction. Will XRP soar to $589 and beyond if it wins its case versus the SEC? That's what many predict, including The Simpsons. So we're going to look at all this stuff on this video right now. This is AI on Crypto. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems, all the things on the blockchain that fill our bags to the max while staying far away. From Rec City, we cover NFTs, play and earn blockchain gaming, metaverse DeFi, and more. So if you're looking for that kind of content, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the community. And sometimes we do make time sensitive videos. Make sure you tap that bell so you don't miss any of our latest videos. It is important to remember that I am simply a cryptocurrency and NFT enthusiast, not a professional financial advisor. Everything in the cryptocurrency markets is incredibly risky. Make sure you do your own research and talk to a pro before making any major decisions. All right, guys, back to the topic at hand, which is XRP, the lawsuit that it finds itself in against the SEC, and the price prediction of $589 a token. All right, guys, so we are looking at XRP right now. It is 46 cents a token. So that would be a massive increase to get to 589. You're talking like a 10,000 X if it happens. Now, here's the thing about XRP, guys. It might only be 46 cents a token, but it is still number six in all of cryptocurrency by market cap with a very impressive market cap of $23 billion, which has it ahead of very well-known chains like Cardano and Solana. So that's one of the very impressive things about XRP is how it's been able to maintain such an impressive market cap even throughout all of this FUD and pressure put on it by the SEC. Now, there's a lot more articles coming out like this one from Protos.com that, that kind of see this lawsuit winding down. So here is what they have to say. Ripple has been fighting the SEC's allegations that it held a 1.3 billion unregistered security cell since the SEC filed its court case in December 2020. Now the SEC and Ripple have filed for a summary judgment from U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres on whether XRP qualifies as a security based on the evidence that both parties have submitted so far. To qualify for a security, XRP would have had to meet the conditions on what's known as the Howey test, which states that an asset counts as a security 
if the investment contract involves an investment of money, it's in a common enterprise, there's an expectation of profit, and this profit will be derived from the efforts of others. In other words, um, a team is promising you a certain level of performance to get you those uh, profits, okay? So Ripple has vehemently denied that the XRP token passes the so-called Howey test just mentioned above. Ripple denies that XRP qualifies as a security, claiming that the sales of the token never included an investment contract. The SEC's untethered position would convert the sale of all types of ordinary asset from diamonds, gold, soybeans, cars, and even works of art into sales of security, says it's filing for a summary judgment. So that's the crux of what has been going on between XRP and the SEC. Ripple has also gone on to claim that the SEC has a conflict of interest. In 2022, the watchdog group Empower Oversight obtained emails between the SEC's ethics office and former SEC director William Hinman through a Freedom of Information Act request. The SEC's ethics office expressed concern about a possible conflict of interest since Hinman had a massive financial stake in a law firm called Simpson, Thatcher & Bartlett. Simpson, Thatcher & Bartlett joined the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance and advised the Ethereum development team on legal matters. The SEC Ethics Office pressed Hinman to either divest from the firm or recuse himself from any issue that could affect Simpson, Thatcher, and Bartlett. Hinman did not divest and rejoined the firm as a senior advisor after leaving the SEC. And then, of course, the SEC has gone on to dispute the claims. Where do Ripple-related airdrops stand? That would be like the Flare Network um, and some of the other uh xrp airdrops that have happened like uh songbird and others so here we go uh at the bottom of the article if judge torres rules that xrp is not a security ripple and xrp investors could claim victory and this is going to be happening very soon so this is the main reason why a lot of people think that this two-year lawsuit is finally coming to an end because most are are becoming to the conclusion that xrp is not a security since the filing for summary judgment, some digital asset investors have been snapping up XRP in a bet that Ripple will come out on top. XRP's price jumped by just over 12% in the past seven days, pushing it up to number six by market cap on coin market. And that's what I just showed you guys. But whether it's number six or not, XRP has always maintained a top 10 position over the last uh, you know, five years, which has been incredibly impressive to me. All right, guys, so what's going to happen if XRP, Ripple, and the XRP community win versus the S uh, SEC? What can we expect for the XRP token? Well, there has long been a rumor in the XRP community that one day, almost overnight, they're going to flip a switch, so to speak, and all of a sudden, Ripple Labs has been laying all of these uh roads and railroads and digital pathways you know the one thing about ripple labs brad garlinghouse the ceo far more than any other cryptocurrency has global connections with the financial elite i'm talking about the people at davos the people at the world economic forum the international monetary fund christine lagarde herself brad garlinghouse ceo of ripple labs knows them all and the thing about Ripple Labs, when it comes to XRP, they have had a single-minded focus of its use case from day one, which is to make international payment transfers instantaneous and very low cost. That's the big value that the XRP token wants to bring to the world. And they have uh, a bunch of technology that's been sold to global banks all over the world. So there's this theory that if XRP wins this lawsuit, like literally overnight, it's going to become adopted by banks all over the world. And the market cap is going to shoot past gold and possibly even Bitcoin and others and get this crazy valuation, 589 a token. Could it happen? I don't know, guys. But the Simpsons recently had Bart drawing this on the chalkboard. XRP to hit $589 by end of year. Now, guys, before you start saying... Man, this AI on crypto guy is nuts. I'm not I'm I'm desubscribing. I'm never watching this stuff again. You might not know 
that The Simpsons actually has a history of some crazy predictions coming true, including the 9-11 attack on the Twin Towers, the presidential election of Donald Trump, which they predicted long before he even announced candidacy, and many other predictions have come true. So what do they have to say here? Is this Simpsons uh, cartoon, uh, Bart Simpson drawing XRP to hit 589? Is this the ultimate XRP price prediction, says the article? The Simpsons writing team have predicted anything from Disney buying Fox to Donald Trump's presidency to accusations of faulty voting machines during presidential elections. So let's zone in on what they have predicted about cryptocurrencies over the course of the show. So Simpsons actually predicted the rise of crypto. First of all, the Simpsons predicted the rise of cryptocurrency. While this seems fairly out there, check this out. It will wreck your head. In episode 17 of season 8, which aired for the first time on March 2nd, 1997, this is a full 11 years before Bitcoin was created, a place named Crypto Barn made its first appearance. It was covered in signs about code and secret code, Crypto Barn. In a mind-blowing moment, this episode aired more than 10 years before the rise of cryptocurrencies. So this leads us to Bart's XRP blackboard prediction. The Simpsons team have also been known to accurately predict several socio-political events via the scrawlings of Bart on the classroom blackboard. In one episode, the longest-running American animated series projected the price of XRP to be at 589. Some of Bart's chalkboard predictions have eventually come to pass. There are whole Reddit threads dedicated to the Naughty Boy scribbles. There have been other episodes that have been fascinating XRP fans. In one scene, Homer's manager was presented with a card that looks exactly like the credit card or Visa cards of today. It was presented in a fancy box with enthusiasts says is a prediction digital assets like XRP will have their own credit card. Could all of these dives into crypto just be wishful thinking? It's obvious that the scriptwriters are enthusiasts of crypto. In episode 13 of 31, Lisa gets a lesson from Professor John IQ Nerdabomb Fink Jr. about crypto. He shows Lisa a video by Jim Parsons who plays Sheldon Cooper in The Big Bang Theory, and he explains crypto. All right, guys, so this seems really funny, but The Simpsons has totally made some insane predictions in the past that have absolutely come true. But one way or another, guys, without throwing exact numbers out there, it doesn't take a genius to come to the conclusion that if XRP wins this lawsuit against the SEC, it could have some serious gains in price. Is it going to go to 589? Honestly, I doubt it. But I can totally see it getting to, you know, three, four, five dollars pretty darn quickly if it wins this case. All right, guys, I hope you had a good time watching this video. Uh, we covered some cool stuff about the lawsuit. It had some fun with these predictions. But at the end of the day, XRP is a legit ecosystem, a legit community, and a legit project. I really hope they win this lawsuit. All right, guys, if you haven't done it already, subscribe. Tap the bell. We'll catch you on the next one.